Hi everybody, it's Julie and I am here. I'm going to do a tutorial or I'm actually going to put together the last page for this um, this Under the Sea wedding album. So this is the first page. Oh, I was going to cover that. Um, so you get to see it here. And I'm going to be using the same items for the last page or very similar. So first of all, um, I am using this paper, Coastal, um, die cuts with the view that I got from Michaels. And for the first page and the last page, I am using this coral colored shell paper and you can see it doesn't look the same because <laughs> I actually did my first time I used distress inks. So you'll see on the first page I used an 8 by 8 page once upon a time and that came from it was also die cuts with a view um, once upon a time I don't see the, the pad <laughs> sorry um, so on the last page I'm going to be using the Happily Ever After. So let's go ahead and get started. So hopefully I don't um, move this, uh, this around too much. I haven't, um, like I said, I haven't done a lot of distress inks. I'm going to be using the Peacock Feathers Distressing Ranger from Tim Holtz. And what I did is I just started going in from the side, um, trying to get some of that color to go throughout. And on this particular one, the paper, the I'm going to put the happily ever after down close to this corner. Oh, we don't really want to get any of that on the, those are the, the fun little, um, things that I cut out with my Cricut. I, um, they are using a divider, file folder divider, and I, um, I may, I'm making, <laughs> right now I'm uploading a video tutorial of how I made those, um, I like to use things that are not normally your everyday um, supplies and special scrapbooking stuff. And so, if something comes to mind. I wanted to, throughout this book, I wanted to subtly add Ariel. The bride is a very big uh, Ariel Little Mermaid fan. And her wedding is actually, the theme is Ariel, under the sea. Okay, I hope this isn't moving you around too much. Trying not to be too boxy, but it is, it does happen. Should come in more from the side. And I... May may you want to invest in some of the round ones, but not today. I've got so nineteen pages to make in two days, and um, so, anyways, then I was just um, had a health issue that took a few days away. Um, while I figure some things out. So again, just, and some of these places I'm leaving it so that the um, antique linen will show up. Um, the guys in the, for this wedding are actually wearing 
the aquamarine color. So we want to make sure that we have um, the variety there. So now I'm just going to change my pad here and put on, this one is the one from my antique linen. It's a little dark because I accidentally, the other day I accidentally put this into the black, but it, it, it actually turned out amazing. I was, um, distressing paper that I was stamping on and it made it look like sand. It was really quite cool. So, so now I'm just distressing with this. I'm going into those places that I didn't do the, um, the peacock feathers. And then I'll, you can see it's, um, it's given us another color of the green. Since I don't have an exact match of what they're wearing, I have some internet, <laughs> on, call them internet swatches, you know, it's like she sent me a picture of what the colors were. Um, she knows she's getting this now. In the beginning, I was asking questions, and I was like, you know what, this is, I want to make sure that this um, fits what she's actually doing. So, I'm sorry this is taking so long. But you can see how this totally changed this paper. So I'm thinking, you know, some of those, some of those paper pads come with papers that are just, <laughs> you know, they don't go with anything. But to be able to just take and sponge on them is going to be, be great. Okay, so we need a little more. And I'm going to be embellishing this like I... Um, similar to what I did on the front, you know, I don't like to always do the same thing But it is going to be really similar my embellishments throughout this book are going to be similar. I've I've whoops, I've cut and stamped and, and tore and Cut out and For a few days so let's make sure we're still in frame. Okay. So I think I think we're good. Let me just add a little more of this in a few places. Okay. So there you go. So we've distressed the background. And now, you probably don't need that. <laughs> so, um, I know I want to put this down towards the bottom. And then I, this is one of the little things that I cut out with my Cricut. Um, it's meant to be a tag. So, I am going to cut the little tag part off. Off his head. Okay. And I think I'm going to put that right there. So it'll be subtle, but Ariel and Eric are there. And then this is a, from a rubber stamp that I had. And then I distressed, I stamped everything on white paper. And I distressed that. And this is from a stamp that says, And they loved Happily Ever After that I got at Michael's in the dollar fifty bin or whatever it is. And, um... I just thought that that would be perfect, and they loved Happily Ever After. And then I have from my stash this paper here, and then I have these panel cards. I have, I still have quite a few of them that I got many years ago, 
And so I think I'm going to do that. And then I have some shells, some large shells that were sent to me. Um, and I, they were just on paper and I cut them out. And so I think we're going to go like this, like this. Sorry. And then, um, <clears throat> excuse me, making sure we're still in frame. <laughs> um, okay. And then we have coral and the coral, uh oh, where did flounder and I lost flounder and Sebastian. Well, there's flounder. We don't want to lose them. And I only have one more Sebastian left right now. Where did he go? Oh well. Maybe he's under somewhere. Okay, well, we'll find him. Um, so I have cut this coral. Actually, it's um, Christmas greenery. It's a die cut from Tim Holtz. And I have used it for coral before and it works really, really well. So I think I'm going to do something like that. And let's see. Put one here. And one here. I, I like that blue. I'm going to try and not cover that up. So then I have these uh, that I also cut with um, with my big cut, my big kick, and oh, then we have this one that is a series of shelves. We'll just set it down, maybe I'm a little shaky. And that. Let's see what else we have. Oh, we can put it over here. And the sparkly shell. This is some, um, this is a really thick paper that I have and it it embossed but it didn't cut out so um, so I have to excuse me I have to um, I run it through the die cut machine and then I have to actually cut it out and then these star sun oh, star star flowers starfish um, I had some real starfish that I bought at Michael's. These are the real starfish. And I was going to use them and then uh, they smelled. So I decided, and I was going to do pocket pages originally um, and change my mind because I got these other, I had this paper and all these great ideas started coming. Um, so I copied them. I made a copy on my, cop my printer and then I... Um, then I cut them out and then I um, covered them with glossy accents. So that is how I did that. So that, and they actually turned out better because they ended up with, um, they ended up more peach and darker than they were. These right here are little um, sand dollars. And this was a stamp that I got at Michael's and I got four beach stamps. And what I did is I stamped it with the white or uh, antique linen and then I ripped them. So, so I have those. I have a bunch of those that I can use. Um, what do I have next? Uh, oh, we've got the little shells. So these, um, I also copied on the copy machine. They're real shells 
and I copied them on the copy machine and that way I would have them to put wherever I wanted to put them in my my thing. I've had to fussy cut them so that's kind of a you know one of the it's a pain but but it worked. Let's see. I've got a another piece of coral will go up to the top there. A starfish. I mean a sand dollar. And we do have a starfish for up there. So just little embellishments of the 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 shells. And then I did decide to add flowers to this album because it is a wedding. So I got just a few that we'll add that we'll just kind of finish it off. Um, these flowers are in little cups like this, and I got these at Michael's in the bridal section um, actually quite a while ago. So I don't know if you would be able to find them again, um, but I have loved them. I have um, I have used them quite a bit. Let's see. Okay, and then these little flowers, they get bling. Okay, so here this is the page, and um, and then I'm going to go ahead and and put it down. But I wanted to show you this is, um, this is the process that I go through. So now I'll be gluing everything down and adding the bling. I do also have this um, net that I'm probably going to play with. And um, so... I don't know that a mermaid would like net, but it just, I thought it was kind of cool. And it'll help me have something to add and to add some more sparkle throughout the, the thing. So here we are. Um, and let's bless them to live and love happily ever after. This is Julie Julie. Find something to celebrate every day. And please, if you like this video and you like my work, um, please like and subscribe. I will be um, adding more to this, um, to my pay, my channel um, of these, this album and of course many more. Have a great day and thank you so much. Bye-bye.